and welcome to Anne Marie's workshop. My name is Anne Marie and I like to make things. If you like to make things, then you found the right channel. Um, like, subscribe, and share, and press the bell if you want to be notified anytime I get into more craziness in the sewing room. Today I want to share with you some of the makes that I made in June 2022. There is a lot, so <laughs> I'm going to try and compact it and get into it. This make is Simplicity 8658. I, you, you already know this is one of my favorite patterns because of my sloping shoulders and my short neck and my round body. Um, their raglan style sleeves and the shape just works great over all of my um, clothes. So whenever I use it as a scrap, um, uh, a uh, fabric bu uh, buster because when I'm finished something, I check to see if I can fit, if I have a yard and leftover scrap, if I can fit one of these blouses. They're almost like t-shirts for me. So this very first one was made out of a summery seersucker. And I should be showing you me wearing it over here. And what I especially love about this pattern is it doesn't require facings. It's usually bias binding around the neck. And I think that's why it takes so few pattern pieces um, to do. And this is nice and floaty for a summer with a white skirt or white shorts or uh, jeans. And this is they're very quick. The pattern is no longer in the pattern catalog. I haven't tracked it down yet, but it is one of my go-to for my uh, scrap makes. This is one of my scrap makes using my hacking pattern, Simplicity 8658. I dropped this shirt into a dress. This is material that I had left over. It's from Melanated Fabrics. It's a beautiful, soft stretch um, cotton. And I um, made this lovely little dress out of what was left over. Um, I have another dress that had inserts with this fabric and this is what was left over, but I think I'm gonna love wearing this. Hopefully I have pictures of me wearing it over here. This pattern, um, hot patterns, let me see, what do they call it? Fast and Fabulous Blouse Back Tee. This pattern, I use this pattern to enter the challenge issued by So Joey um, for the month of June. Uh, summer tea or t-shirts for summer 2022. And it wrapped up um, a, a, a day or so ago and I won a prize. Yay! <laughs> Which is another pattern, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this was one of my entries. This is a wonderful a stretch knit, and I paired it with a sheer chiffon that I brought back from Montreal. If you had a chance to see my Montreal fabric haul, you would have recognized this um, fabric. It's not going to be the first time you're going to see it in this video. <laughs> but it's very soft and it's very comfortable, and I got hooked on making them. Now this is another hot pattern, fabulous back, blouse back tee. I got hooked making them, as I said before, and I had this beautiful fabric that I got. It's, it's red, and I think it's slightly, it's red and pink, and it's striped. It felt very French to me, and I made the pattern again with the contrasting yoke in the back, very comfortable, very beautiful. Hope you get a picture of me wearing it over here. Um, um, it was also an entry because you could enter as many as times as you like. Now, the thing is, once I started making these and wearing them, I got really, really very, very comfortable. And I had a, quite a few pieces of knit fabric that this was enough for. Let me see. This pattern took um, about... Oh, it doesn't say, but about two and a half, two and a half yards. And uh, it's not the last you're gonna see. This is the last one, I promise. 
This is the same Fast Fabulous tee, but I extended it into a t-shirt dress. Um, something about the challenge made me think about it. And I did not want to leave. I had this much left at the end of making this um, t-shirt. And I thought, oh, t-shirt dress. So there should be a picture of me wearing it right over here. It's very, very soft, very, very comfortable. And I can totally recommend this pattern. I know that this pattern is still available online from Hot Patterns. So you can go on over there if you're interested. It's very, very, it's a wonderful for apple bo body, um, sh apple shaped bodies. Ooh. Now in my planning videos, I talked about the need for pajamas. And um, mine, oh, they feel just wonderful, but they're threadbare. <laughs> and it's time for new ones. So I downloaded PDF, the Thistle Sleepy Set, right, by Petite Stitchery. I knew I would remember eventually. And I made quite a few pajama pieces, super soft material I got from uh, Fabric Mart. And I made the mid mid-dress. Then I made the longer version of it. And then I made some little tap shorts. And I made like the racer back or the T, the T that go along. And hopefully you're seeing me model it somewhere around here. Move over a bit. Over here. <laughs> <laughs> super soft can't wait to put them in my drawer now that I've done this video I can uh, start wearing them and I guess I have to let go of some of my other PJs that are oh they're just so good but I can use them for stuffing another challenge this month was the so fruity for summer challenge now, as I've said before in other videos, I did kind of roll my eyes when I heard so fruity because I thought I did not have any fruity fabric, but I was wrong. Not only did I have fruity fabric, I had cut fruity fabric out. <laughs> so this is my duster that I made from the so fruity pat fabric. It has oranges, um, bananas, cherries, uh, tangerines. I think that covers most of the fruity. And I used Butterick 6516, this duster pattern right here. Um, I have video of it or pictures of it to my, hopefully, yeah, to my left so that you can see it's a beautiful piece. Now, I have to admit, I did have to hack it. Um, the instructions were that the edges at the neck all the way around were gonna be a baby hem. And I just felt like that that was just gonna flop around, like there was nothing lined on the inside. So I cut an extra front piece of organdy and put that in there so that I could turn this, I could sew this and make it go inside out and give it some uh, body and some weight. I I'm. You're, like if you decide to sew this pattern and you decide to make this a baby hem all the way around, more power to you. But I just felt that that was kind of too lightweight. That would have meant this would have been at the neck edge. Like I just felt like it needed more body. And these were from um, Hobby Lobby. These little um, um, catches. I thought they were delightful. Isn't that pretty? And um, I don't think they were more than $3.99 or $2.99. So I put a set of two so that it wouldn't be flopping around. So this could be a cover up. It could also, um, it could stand as its own as this duster. Really lovely pattern. And thank you for the challenge. And my policy about the challenges is I love doing a challenge because I'm a teacher and I love to do homework, <laughs> but I'm only going to accept challenges that kind of have something to do with my life or something I've already cut out. So in the case of like So Fruity, I found things that had already been cut out and I, I didn't make a special fruity purchase. I just looked for the stuff that I'd already cut out. Um, unless there's a challenge that really, really intrigues me, that's going to be kind of my uh, policy. This make was McCall's 
7786. I do believe it is still in the catalog. And I made these pants, View D, with the ruffle at the side. And they turned out beautifully. And you should be able to see them in a little video right here. Now, I am an apple-shaped woman, and I paired these with the Ogden cami, which I had made previously, um, maybe two months ago. So, I'll, I'll put a picture again of me in it with the both of them together. Really great. Very, very flattering to all body shapes. Not too revealing on the leg. I think you'll really like it. Now, this next one was Pamela Cl Pamela's Closet. <laughs> <laughs> um, camisole and it's a lesson in two different patterns two different fit I did this first one from a knit left over from melanated fabrics I lined it with this beautiful black stretch lace with little dime little sparkles on it and you should be able to see them right over here lovely right looks so good I made the same exact pattern in this Georgette, which was beautiful. Doesn't fit. It's too tight. Not It doesn't float. Uh, same pattern, different fabrics. No ease. Lots of ease. So I learned something very valuable. I kind of knew it, but you know, every once in a while you get that lesson. Now, once again, I am committed to making dresses for little girls. This is, this is the pattern from Dress a Girl Around the World. It's a worthwhile organization. I've committed to making them two dresses a, a month. Um, the only thing, like they recommend um, you use their pattern and um, also, you need to purchase their little um, name tags to put on the pocket somewhere on these pockets for these dresses. Um, I should have a picture of them full length right over here. So I, I just think they're a worthwhile um, organization. They You mail the dresses to Iowa and they distribute them around the world. Uh, now my next make, I made two of them. It's New Look 66566, six, 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 I beg your pardon. And I wanted to make these shears that I bought in Montreal to cover over my white pants. That's one of my uniforms for summer, white pants and various colored tops. And I thought that these shears would be lovely. This first one is in kind of a watercolor, floaty thing. And hopefully that's showing over here. And then the print that you keep on seeing, this black sheer with this beautiful red flower on it. And hopefully you'll see that over here. All right, I think they'll just be wonderful um, to go out with. You'll have, I will have to have like a uh, flesh colored or uh, um, um, some other uh, camisole or something underneath because they are sheer but they're very floaty and they're very pretty now if you follow my channel you know how much I love these dresses it's uh, Vogue 9237 um, I had said there are only four pieces but I was wrong front back sleeves pockets then ruffle so I was I was mistaken <laughs> But so easy to cut out, so fun. I'll include my little video right here of what they look like. Um, in the meantime, this one was done with, a, um, with the sleeve and I used some of the leftover uh, pink taffeta that I had left from my, my um, uh, so along, uh, I think McCall's or Simplicity dress, party dress, but lovely, so nice to wear. I've already cut another one out. <laughs> I think I, I, I said in my Friday says that th these were dashiki panels. Um, I have quite a bit of dashikis. I didn't feel the need for to make any more, but 
these are perfect if you have a large motif Ankara fabric and And hopefully I'll show them individually over here. Lovely to wear, cool, easy to make. You gotta make a couple of these for the summer. Now I just love this fabric so much. It is the third one that I made. Same gathering in the back. But oh my goodness, it looks like one of those Marvel, um, Doctor Strange universe. Uh, <laughs> patterns but I loved it so much it they came out so nice I really hope you get a chance to do this pattern it's in the pattern catalog it is brand new um for spring 9237 Vogue give it a try this pattern is Marcy Tilton's 7474 by Vogue once again as I told you in my plans I did not pay attention to the information on the pattern envelope. Reading teachers should read. <laughs> and one of the things that it was, it was supposed to be for a double-sided fabric. In other words, this collar, when it folds over, this is going to be revealed. The other side of the fabric is going to be revealed. So like they recommend leather, suede, boiled wool. I didn't listen. And so I had done this doe suede and you see how it has the suede on one side and the satin on the other. And this was only gonna be one layer, so it was gonna be a raw edge. So I had, I had um, this is one of the things that, I, that was in my bucket left over from living in the United States that I wanted to sew so that I can clear that bucket and, you know, move on. <laughs> so I sewed it with this beautiful button that I've always wanted to use. But I had, luckily, I had already tried to solve this problem, I guess, before I got to America because I had cut double this front piece. It's only supposed to be cut uh, single because you're gonna turn it over and reveal that the suede or the, or the boiled wool or melting or whatever you've decided to use. So it was tricky. I had to think outside the box. I got some wonderful suggestions from you all about what to do about these pockets because I don't like that raglan thing. And someone told me to make a, um, a bound buttonhole type thing here. And that's what I'm gonna do if I just can find some of this fabric. But it's, I cut it so long ago, I don't know. So here is me wearing it. Hopefully I have styled it with black leggings and a black shirt, I hope. This is Simplicity 9476. This is the party dress. This was my sew along this month. If you if you missed it, it's hella long, y'all, because of the lace and all the stuff. It's about an hour long. I'm so sorry I couldn't make it simpler. Um, and I'll include a card right up here so that you can uh, click on it after you've seen the video if you wanna um, do it. It's so pretty. Eve, look how it glows. Look at this color. Can you believe this is bargain fabric? Anyway, so the underlay is that taffeta that you saw on the back of that um, dress I just showed you a little bit ago. And the black, black lace. I do not have a little video for you yet because alas, my vacation trip, I have not, it's too tight. It's too tight in the middle. So give me, another, uh, give me another month or so, and hopefully I'll be back in it. I have no choice, I have to get back in it. But, cause it's cut to my measurements, but it's, it, it's close y'all, it's close. In the, in the waist, apples, that's what happens. You'd be so proud of me, I finally finished a jumpsuit. This is Vogue, very easy, very Vogue, 9116. Um, it appealed to me because the back comes up very high, like right under the underarms. And I've got, I've got some curves there that are not necessarily my favorite. So I did this in a double knit. And it had this beautiful pattern. I believe I bought this at Ping's. 
If I didn't buy it at Pings and Mandeville, I ordered it from Fabric Mart. I can't remember which, but I loved these tulips in black and white. And the top, I used a black double knit on the top. And it is a halter and it comes all the way up the back under the arms. And I, excuse me, allergies. Um, I should show you a picture of me wearing it here on my veranda. And I think it's a nice addition. I, I'm, I'm compiling the suitcase I'm calling the next time I get to go to a resort. <laughs> this is a love make. My daughter Sarah loves this romper, which is Charlotte Rowley's from Simplicity 8124. Um, she has worn this to death. I will try and insert a picture of her wearing it somewhere here. And I made her one in black out of a heavy duty double knit because as her job as a massage therapist and her being in Portland, it's a little cool. Um, she, I made it, uh, I believe like a ankle duster as far as the um, height, but I will adjust it based on how it works on her. I'll model it. Um, it's right here. And it took me a little while to finish this because I had to go back and insert big pockets in here. It, it it didn't come with pockets. And I know she's gonna have all sorts of things when she's working that she's gonna need to stuff in her pockets. But it can go on the shoulders or off of the shoulders. I'll model it for you. And she'd be over here somewhere. This next make is the lovely Anthea blouse made into the dress on the Anna Allen pattern, the Anthea blouse and dress. I made this in a lovely fabric from Fabric Mart that I got, 100% polished cotton. It I ended it in the So Fruity. No, I wasn't finished it in time for the So Fruity um, challenge, but I was still putting on buttons. And it has a lemon, lemons, it has tulips, it has peonies, and it's ba backed in navy. And I love to wear navy. So I will try this on and show it to you over here. Alrighty, now here is an actual Anthea blouse I did with daisies. Only problem is, you know, you can make mistakes. My my design does not line up. I don't know how I blew it, but I did. I'm still gonna wear it. I still think it's lovely, but it's the sort of thing that's gonna catch my attention. And the fabric is so lovely. And I, I lined up the fabric when I cut it. I, I don't know where I went wrong, but... I'm sure, you know what, most people won't see it, but you know how sewers are, you see your own stuff. But um, now, these were my uh, entries into the challenge he made 2022. I have my little gentleman right here, and my sister Triceratops, and Mr. Brachiosaurus. Well, maybe Brachiosaurus, ah, we'll see. Anyway, this one glows in the dark. Aren't they delightful? This is one of my all-time favorite dresses, only this time it's hacked as a robe. This is very easy, very Vogue, 9253. It also appears in the catalog under another number. I will find out that number, include it somewhere around here. I call it my Icarus robe because this lovely fabric that I got from Fabric Mart has petals on it. It's a beauty, and I will show you what it looks like over here. Uh, my next make is Palmer and Plush's 2818. I am sure you've seen this shirt so many different times. I did this version here, which is version A with the V-neck because it's the most flattering for me. It has princess seams. It has buttons in the back. I eliminated the buttons in the back and made it just as a shirt. And I used it in my So Fruity blouse <laughs> with all of these cherries and I should have a picture of me wearing it over here and thank you so much to the um, people who sponsored So Fruity. I won a prize. Yay! <laughs> this is the same Palmer and Plush um, 2818 um, shirt only done in solid black. I wanted to do this shirt because I have a lot of skirts that need something that is just that height to just fit over the top but not top tuck in. And here's a picture of me wearing it over here. 
Now, this lovely is Vogue 8858. I have to admit, I thought I had the blouse for this, but I'm not sure. Um, if I figured it out, you'll see it over here. If not, you'll just see from the waist down. But this is that beautiful skirt that I made out of sari material and leftover doe suede. It has a train in the back. It's beautiful. Hopefully I'll get to wear it somewhere someday. Uh, my daughter's best friend already got married. So hopefully something will come up. If you make it, it will happen. Or if you sew it, it will happen. Now last but not least, I did that hot pattern, um, pattern one more time in a night shirt with this lovely stretch cotton that I've had for so long and I made it with the stripe in the front and a, a single um, cotton gauze in the back very airy and cool for these Jamaican nights I made matching capri pants which I don't quite know which pattern I used, um, but you know, it's a standard pull-on pant. And I also made the shorts, and that was from the Thistle pattern. Let me find that for you. Thistle Sleepy Set. The shorts are right here. Alrighty. And that is from Petite Stitchery. And I think I also made the pants again. I'll, I'll find the pattern. And here are the pants again. So I think I have some good additions to my pajama drawer, which had those threadbare things in them. I think this is me wearing my pajamas. <laughs> All right, that's it for the month of June. That's all she sewed. That's all she wrote. It was a wonderful month. I enjoyed the challenges, um, t-shirts for summer, so fruity. He made 2022. Looking forward to the next month. Um, hopefully, you things are going well for you. I hope you got to sew even a little bit, even a little bit. It pays off. One day, you, they let you sew all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Not me yet. I don't get to sew all day long yet, but I'm getting it in. I'm getting it in. Alrighty. Stay well, keep making, and we'll see you on the next video.